A new tool developed by an Air Force non-commissioned officer allows KC-135 maintainers to more efficiently look for fuel leaks. The tool costs just $15 but will save the military branch at least $1.5 million a year. The Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker is a military aerial refueling aircraft. The KC-135 was the U.S. Air Force's first jet-powered refueling tanker and was initially tasked with refueling strategic bombers, but was used extensively in the Vietnam War and later conflicts such as Operation Desert Storm to extend the range and endurance of U.S. tactical fighters. Since then it became a critical part of U.S. aerial operations around the globe. The KC-135 can carry up to 200,000 pounds of jet fuel, ready to fill the bellies of the thirsty fighters and bombers on long-range missions. The KC-135 fleet is currently flying double its planned yearly flying hours program to meet airborne refueling requirements, which means more workload on the maintainers. One of the main responsibilities of the Stratotanker maintainers is to check the aircraft's voluminous fuel tanks, a process that until now involved airmen standing outside the tank spraying them with water, with a dedicated airman inside the tank checking for signs of a leak. The whole process took 8 to 12 hours on average and also very costly. The U.S. Air Force will save millions of dollars and airmen spared the dirty work of crawling inside fuel tanks, all by using a simple tool invented by a serving airman. The pressurized leak detection cup will cut the number of hours needed to detect fuel tank leaks by up to 75%, saving the service more than a million dollars a year. To top it off, the new tool is 3D printed and costs just $15 to produce. Air Force Staff Sergeant Patrick Leach, with the 100th Maintenance Squadron, developed the pressurized leak detection cup to cut down on the amount of time it takes to detect leaks. According to Leach, the innovation is a 3D printed cup which we can pressurize when pressed up against the surface of the aircraft. This allows air to travel through any open channels on the surface and exit on the inside of the tank. We can then apply soapy water to the inside so we can see where the leak is coming through. The service certified the tool for use on the KC-135, and the Air Force says it will save at least $1.5 million in manpower costs at Leach's Air Base alone. The tool will almost certainly save more money at other KC-135 bases as the Air Force rolls the tool out across units worldwide. To top it off, the tool is modifiable and can be made to fit other aircraft.